Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome for this Eucharistic celebration. Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today, the Universal Church invites each one of us to celebrate the Ascension, the Feast of Ascension. What does it signify to you and me? Just bring before you three points to reflect on in the introduction. The Ascension is a celebration of divinity, glory, power and fullness of life in the person of Jesus Christ. The second point with regard to Ascension is any separation brings pain, sorrow, sadness to each one of us in our physical realm in this world. But for the apostles, when Jesus was separated, it gave them an immense joy and happiness. It gave immense joy and happiness because of Jesus' promise to them. Several promises he made. I bring before you the triune promise. Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 7, 27. Yesterday's gospel we heard. Father himself loves us. The unconditional love of the Father is manifested in our life. The second is Jesus continuous presence in our midst. Matthew's Gospel 28 20. Behold, I am with you until the end of time. The third is John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 16. Jesus promises, I will ask Father to send an advocate, the Holy Spirit, who will be a guide for you. This triune God's presence in our life also brings us joy when we are passing through the challenges of our life's journey. The third point is the ascension celebration radiates hope to everyone who is passing through suffering in life because in his simple yet powerful event of his birth in his ordinary yet impressive ministry that Jesus performed three years in his amazing yet powerful passion and death for you and me and in his glorious resurrection and ascension he has exhibited how a life lived in connected with the Father and the Holy Spirit brings happiness and that's exactly today you and I are called to celebrate the ascension which is an assurance of triune God's love triune God's presence triune God's guidance in our life's journey therefore my brothers and sisters let's examine our conscience for the times we have failed in recognizing that mighty triune God's divine presence in us for the times we have failed to understand his guidance especially when we pass through the chalice of suffering in this earth let's acknowledge for the times we failed to understand his continued 
hope for our life's journey. He is there. He is with us right in this Eucharistic celebration. We are going to experience, experience miracles and healings. Therefore, let us acknowledge our mistakes, sins, and ask His pardon that we be strengthened to take part in this Eucharistic celebration, receive His sustenance for our life's journey.